Ramon Rivero. Ramon Rivero, May 29, 1909, August 24, 1956, known as Diplo, was a comedian, actor, composer, and a pioneer in Puerto Rico's radio, television, and cinema industries. Rivero was an iconic and influential Puerto Rican actor slash comedian. Rivero made his television debut in Puerto Rico in La Taberna, India, the India Tavern, first comedy slash variety show on Puerto Rican TV. He starred in the movies Los Peloteros, The Baseball Players, and Una Galaga and La Habana, a Galaga in Havana. Rivero also organized the world's first known walk a thon to raise money for the Liga Puerto Riquina contra el cancer, the Puerto Rican League Against Cancer. Early Years Rivero Birth Name Archero Ramon Maximo Ortiz del Rivero was born in the town of Naguabo, Puerto Rico to Jose Ortiz Alibrin and Providencia del Rivero. In 1917, his family moved to the old San Juan section of San Juan, the capital of Puerto Rico. There, he received his primary and secondary education. As a young man, he learned to play various musical instruments, among them the piano, the guitar, and the mandolin, under the tutelage of Emilia Maestu y Jorge Rubino. His father, a lawyer, sent him to Ontario, Canada to study law. However, while he was in Canada, he learned to play baseball, and received an offer to try out for the New York Giants major league team. He did not accept the offer, and when he returned to Puerto Rico, he joined the Senadores de San Juan San Juan Senators Baseball Club. Rivero married and found it difficult to sustain his family economically as a professional baseball player, therefore he moved with his family to the town of Ke and worked as a physical education instructor at a local school. Career as an entertainer. In K.E., he met and befriended Jose Luis Taragrosa and joined Taragrosa's traveling theatrical company. Taragrosa became his best friend and later served as his comedy sidekick. Together they acted in the comedy El Proceso de Armando Leos. This experience convinced Rivero to pursue a career in comedy. After witnessing a comedy by Cuban comedian Leopoldo Fernandez, also known as Tres Patines, Rivero adopted the idea of creating a comical Afro-Puerto Rican character. His inspiration for the character was someone he met during his youth years in San Juan called Diplomatia, hence he named his character Diplo. Together with Tara Grossa, Rivero founded La Farangula Bohemia, a theatrical company in which he was able to develop the character Diplo and make him known to the public. Rivero's father asked him to change his name because another son was a priest, and having a comedian in the family ran against propriety. Rivero respected his father's request and changed his name from Archero Ramon Maximo Ortiz del Rivero to Ramon Rivero, and he added the nickname Diplo. Among the local talents that Rivero and Taragrosa discovered was Juan Boria, a Puerto Rican poet who would become known for his Afro-Caribbean poetry. In 1941, Boria was participating in a show in the town of Loiza. Rivero and Taragrosa, who were present, were so impressed with Boria's performance that they incorporated him into their troupe. Rivero's comedy act became well known, not only on the traveling theatrical scene, but also in the local radio shows such as Los Embajadores del Buen Humor, Ambassadors of Good Humor, La Vida and Broma Life as a Joke, and El Tremendo Hotel, The Tremendous Hotel, where he also actively participated as a script writer. During World War Roman II, Rivero and his acting troupe, the La Farangula Bohemia Bohemian Show Business, traveled to the United States military bases in which Puerto Rican troops were stationed, and not only did he entertain the men, but he also accepted and delivered mail to the families of those whom he met overseas. Puerto Rican industrialist Angel Ramos, owner of WCAC Radio, 
signed an exclusive deal with Rivero to broadcast El Tremendo Hotel via the airwaves. His show became the most popular radio show in Puerto Rico. El Tremendo Hotel, together with his other production La Farandula Corona, catapulted WCAC to the top of the ratings. Among the many Puerto Rican artists who began their careers in El Tremendo Hotel were Luis Vigoro, Miguel Angel Alvarez, Sylvia Rixach. On one occasion, Rivero denounced and lambasted a foreign newspaper woman who had published an article in the U.S. stating that Puerto Rican men sold their women to the American servicemen, exhorting his countrymen to expel her from Puerto Rico, which they did. Rivero produced and acted in various theatrical productions in Puerto Rico, among them Mosquilandia Mosquito Land, El Principe Wheel Wheel Prince Wheel Wheel, A Mimi Matin Piro Yo Gozo They Can Kill Me, But I'll Enjoy It, Ease Nino Ease Mio The Child Is Mine, He Quen Defenders One Must Defend Himself, La Familia Del Leo The Family of Problems and El Tremendo Hotel, However, his success was not limited to the theater and radio. In 1946, El Mundo, a local newspaper, began a comic strip about Rivero's character Duplo, making this the first time that a Puerto Rican from the local entertainment industry received such a distinction. Rivero was a pioneer of Puerto Rican television who produced the first comedy show La Taberna India the India Saloon for Angel Ramos's Telemundo, a local television station. He became known to his fans as the Rey de la Farandula King of Show Business and Center Television Mr. Television. In winter 1953, Rivero and his troupe traveled to New York City to perform before the Puerto Rican community which had migrated and settled there during the great Puerto Rican migration of the 1940s. For three weeks, Rivero and his show El Tremendo Hotel held sold-out performances at the Teatro San Juan, Teatro Hispano, and the Teatro Puerto Rico. Actor and Composer in Cuba, Rivero participated in the movie Una Galaga and La Habana with Nini Marshall. However, it was in Puerto Rico that in 1953, he played the lead role of Pepe in what is possibly the best motion picture ever made in the island, Los Peloteros, the baseball players with Puerto Rican actress Miriam Colon co-starring as his wife, Lolita under the direction of Jack Delano. The movie, which is based on a real-life story, is about a man, Pepe, who, despite the fact that no one takes him seriously, is willing to coach a group of very poor children and help them raise funds for their baseball team. Rivero wrote more than 3,000 scripts for radio, theater, television, and motion pictures, and was the author of Por Que Si Relagent. What Makes People Laugh and El Album de la Radio 1940-1948, a significant study and the first historical record of the radio industry in Puerto Rico. Rivero also composed more than ten songs, among them, Por Que Sira. Why is it? You me all the dast, you already forgot me. Comians at El Fin, the beginning of the end. A C.E.'s that's how it is. Me gusto, I liked it. A la Don Pepito, hello. Mr. Pepito, and Don Quera Quetu Veas wherever you go. Activist. In 1953, Rivero organized the world's first known walk a thon. He walked 80 miles from the capital city of San Juan, crossing Puerto Rico up and down the treacherous mountain roads of Cay, known as La Pequina, to Ponce on the other side of the island, to raise money for the Liga Puerto Riquina contra el Cancer, Puerto Rican League Against Cancer. In that walkathon, Rivero raised the equivalent of $85,000 in four days. The walkathon turned into a historical event that became part of the collective consciousness of Puerto Ricans all over the world and has been copied several times since. Rivero also defended the victims of injustice during student revolts at the University of Puerto Rico, led the first actors' strike on the island, 
and was the first producer slash personality to actively combat racial prejudice on Puerto Rican television, incorporating blacks in his television shows, first in La Taberna India Juan Boria, followed by Rita Delgado and Dixon as cast members of his La Farangula Corona. Legacy. In 1955, Serviceria India, Inc., Puerto Rico's largest beer brewery and the sponsor of La Taberna India, did not agree with his doctor's request and required that Rivero continue producing three weekly television shows for them, resulting in Rivero's refusal and resignation. He then approached Serviceria Corona Serviceria India's competitor with the idea of producing a weekly television comedy show. Serviceria Corona agreed to sponsor the show which he named La Farangula Corona. Rivero's new show became very popular among the Puerto Rican audiences. Rivero was in the process of organizing his performing troupe, which was to travel to the town of Yabucoa in an attempt to help the town after it was devastated by the Santa Clara hurricane, when on August 24, 1956, he suddenly died of a congenital aneurysm. Rivero was the father of five children, three from his first two marriages and two which he had in his third marriage with Puerto Rican actress Alicia Bibaloni. Rivero was buried at Cementerio Santa Maria Magdalena de Pazzi, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and a state of national mourning for two weeks was declared on the island. It was estimated by El Impartial, a local newspaper, that a total of 50,000 of his countrymen attended his burial. Due to his untimely sudden death, the memory of Rivero has been honored by both by the government of Puerto Rico, who declared a national Ramon Rivero de Plo Day in 2009, and by Naguabo, his hometown, who named an urbanization after him. In 1965, a 15-foot bronze statue-slash-monument to Ramon Rivero de Plo was unveiled in the town square. Puerto Rican poet Juan Antonio Correcha wrote Morir y Rare a Ramon Rivero laugh and die to Ramon Rivero a poem dedicated to Rivero and his character de Plo. On June 16, 2006, the government of Puerto Rico approved Lay Num. 115 Law No. 115, which declares every May 29, the day of Ramon Ortiz del Rivero de Plo in 2009, a de Plo returns to San Juan Walkathin in memory of the first event. In 2009, the commemoration of his 100th birthday, the Fundation Ramon Rivero released the book. De Plo. Por que si ria la gent. Authored by Jose Orbay, ISBN 978-09661619-2. Awards slash special recognition. Ray de la Farangula, King of Show Business. Center Television, Mr. Television. TV Creator slash Producer. La Taberna, India. La Farangula, Corona. Theater. El Tremendo Hotel, Amaimi Matin Piro Yo Gozo, La Familia del Leo, Diplo Contra Hitler, El Principe Wheel Wheel, Ease Nino Ease Mio, Hayque Defenders, Films, Los Peloteros, Una Gallega and La Habana, Radio, El Tremendo Hotel, La Vida and Broma, El Colgio del Amor, La Agent Shadel Ammer. Music slash composer. Among the songs composed by Rivero are the following. Por Quesira. Don Quiraque Tu Veas. Ala Don Pepito. Las Pinas de My Ammer. Laura Manina. Yumi Alvidast. Juan Calalu. Mi Gusto. La Viaja Si Dismeo. Books. El Album de la Radio 1941-1948 Por que si re la gente. 